Hey everybody, so confession right off the bat. My outfit right now is pajamas. My hair just taken out of a bun, just kind of combed through it with my fingers, and my makeup is so simple that I used one product to go in five different directions. This is real life, this is sometimes the situation we're in where you just want a quick go-to makeup look. This particular one is very summery. I was thinking of referring to this, actually the first word that came to mind is a slacker makeup tutorial, or or a lazy day makeup tutorial because I feel like it's the results you want from makeup but very little work both physically or mentally involved here because you just kind of grab the product and go. So the real workhorse of this look, this product I've been talking about, is my Too Faced Beach Bunny and this is going to be our bronzer, contour, blush, highlight and eyeshadow today. But I will be taking you through the look start to finish, so here we go. So I'm just gonna start off by blending a very low maintenance um, base product all over my skin, something that I see as kind of a multitasker because um, at least this time of year it can be my moisturizer and my foundation in one. So it's the IT Cosmetics CC Plus, this is the um, regular version, SPF 50. And I chose the regular version for this video, not the illumination, because um, I really want to spotlight a different product where glow is concerned and I want you to see you know exactly where that's coming from and not wonder oh was that the CC cream or where'd that come from so that is one full pump all over just kind of blend it out first and you could continue on and just do this with your fingers very easily I just really like um, buffing it in with a brush. And this is that double-ended IT Cosmetics brush that I've enjoyed. Um, it's kind of nice because it's your foundation brush and your concealer brush all in one. Next, taking a little MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in um, the shade NC25. I've got probably more than I need here on my finger, but I'm gonna get a little bit of this on the under eye area. Just kind of smooth it out. And then just dab that in with the same brush. I know I talked about this quite a bit in my makeup for beginners video, but dabbing concealer is going to maintain so much more coverage compared to like really sweeping back and forth. And then kind of a rediscovered product here for setting powder, this Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in Light. It's a really like incredibly smooth textured powder. So I'm gonna pick some of that up with my e.l.f. complexion brush. I do love the finish of this powder on the skin. You know, I think it's very natural. It's kind of a semi-matte type look. I'm going to very quickly fill in my brows. This is my e.l.f. Um, brow lift pencil, and this is in the shade taupe, actually. I like using this for just a very, very quick um, fill in because the color is soft and cool, and um, I've got a lot of brow already, so it, this just kind of evens out those few little parts of the brow where, you know, I think I need a little even and out. Now I think this is kind of where the fun begins because we're going to really be going all over in different ways with this Beach Bunny bronzer from Too Faced. This is one of Too Faced bronzers that up until recently I hadn't been very familiar with. I'd actually been using Sun Bunny a lot recently, which I love. Um, I think as a face product, that's really nice. There's two tones in it, but this actually having the four shades, I do think makes a difference. So if you're looking for one product to just do a lot of multitasking, not have to really think about what you're picking up and you know really putting too much thought into the technique. That's what we're going to be talking about right now. So the first function that I want this powder to have is kind of an all over bronzer type look. So I'm taking my e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm just dabbing all over the product, um, kind of focusing a little bit more down on that end. And then I'm going to just start by taking this right up next to my hairline 
and this does have a little luminosity to it. It's not um, incredibly metallic and shimmery, and that's kind of the fine line I was walking as I was looking at other comparable products. Either they were too faint, um, one thing I looked at from NYC was similar but just not pigmented enough, or I've looked at my shimmer strips from Physicians Formula and they're a little too shimmery to do all this stuff, um, just a little too metallic. So giving myself that depth on the forehead, also really focusing it in around the temples. Then light bronzer just all over, thinking about where the sun would naturally hit and I'm just dabbing kind of centrally in this palette. Just really warming up the skin tone. Take it down the neck as well. This looks pretty all across the decollete area. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheek contour and I'm really gonna focus uh, my brush right there at that end. I'm gonna sort of squeeze my brush a bit. It's already a little bit flat, but we're gonna like flatten it even more. And just take this right here in the hollow of the cheek. It's not going to be a super intense, like really defined contour, but it really is going to give us a little definition there. Okay, so bronzer and contour are done, and then for blush, we're going to focus right here in the center of the palette. So those center two strips, one's kind of golden, one's kind of peachy. I'm going to take my Up and Up blush brush, and I can easily, you know, confine the brush to those two shades. And then I'm just going to sweep this. And you can see that peach really coming through. Sweep this on the outer part of the apple of the cheek. And it's amazing how we're achieving, you know, these different color tones with this very, you know, simple looking compact. And I'm liking how it's glowy, you know, but it's not too glowy. These don't come off like a metallic, pearlized eyeshadow, you know? But I think that step with the glow that it has, it kind of helps me achieve blush and highlight in one. And then I'm going to make it eyeshadow as well. So first I'm just going to prime the lids as I would with any product. This is the NYX Proof It. I'm using this medium sweeper brush from Sigma and I'm going to go right here into this gold and I'm just dabbing it onto the lid. And this is of course just one suggested way to use this, you know, as your eyeshadow because there are other ways you could go as well. Then I'm going to this brown, that's going to be our crease shade, I'm using my E25 for that. Nothing complicated, just going to stick it right there in the crease, I mean I'm not really shaping it in any particular way. I don't know about you guys, I just really get a kick out of a product when I feel like it can really um, almost be worth more than the cost, you know, for all the different things it can do. And not only that, but on the days when you're really rushing around and you want to get a look done without having to dig through everything you own, you know, this is where it's at. I'm just going to take a little bit of that peach now, just lightly, um, with an E40 brush, and just very lightly blend over the edge of the look. Very simple, very quick. I'm pretty pleased with the look as is, but I'm just going to add a little something to the lower lash line. I'm going to go over here to this um, bronzy color on the side with a pencil brush. And this is just a matter of smudging that shade right under the eye. Gives you a little soft definition, but it's kind of in one of those undetectable ways. People wouldn't come up to you and be like, oh, nice lower liner. Like people are doing that all the time to other people. <laughs> Only on YouTube, probably. The one quick way I might also perk this up is just to put a nude liner in my lower inner rim. Just because I know I'm tired right now and I know that's probably a little reddish. I used the Jordana Continuous Almond just now. Same basic thing as the Milani Almond Cream, so whichever. Last but not least, just giving the lashes a quick curl. Gonna be using my CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, which I love, which I'm probably going to need to repurchase soon. <laughs> when I am trying to be quick with a look, skipping eyeliner benefits me in the sense that I feel like my eyelashes stand out more. When I've posted like Insta- uh-oh. Did I just- oh, I did. I just like blinked too hard. Got mascara down there. Don't worry, we're okay. This is real life, people. Don't go too fast with it. As I was saying, I actually feel like my lashes stand out a lot more if I eliminate the liner, assuming I'm not wearing false lashes.
Now, in an effort to really make this product go as far as possible, I even, when I was testing out this look, I put like Vaseline on my lips and I mixed this product and like dabbed it over the lips. And it seemed like a little extra work compared to just a random lip product you might grab. So I'm not gonna do that today, but you could do that if you really wanted to keep it very like, this product being the root of the entire look. But I think with this look, lips are really where you can have fun. You know, you don't have to keep it neutral with just as much effort. You know, you can do something brighter and really kind of just change the overall vibe of this look. For me today, I'm gonna use something that's uh, kind of like a neutral rosy type shade. It's the Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Color. And this shade is called Fashion Darling. And they're interesting because they don't go on like as crazy full color as maybe some other pencil lip products you might know, but they feel so like silky as they go on. And they're kind of just buildable where the intensity is concerned. And here's just how simple we're keeping this. I'm still in my pajama top here. I'm just gonna take my hair out of this bun, hope that it has you know, some decent wave to it, some volume. Just kind of style it a bit with my fingers here. But yeah, that's the finished look. This is one product, five ways, makes for a very easy makeup look when you don't want to take the time to make a lot of decisions. And I really like the finished look. You know, it's not fussy at all. It's just very simple. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.